everyone and welcome back to the spooky kitchen with me Nines, and good old mr skeleton uh i tied good old mr skeleton to the cabinet this time if you remember the last time we were hanging out in the spooky kitchen with good old mr skeleton he was trying to scare us by jumping off the counter a million times so we tied him safely to the cabinetry anyways today we're trying something new in the spooky kitchen We've made spooky food before, which I'll have uh, a spooky kitchen playlist down in the description box for you. But we have yet to make a spooky beverage here in the spooky kitchen, which is kind of surprising because I feel like all I talk about around here are spooky beverages or just beverages in general. So I don't know why <laughs> we haven't done this before. But here we are in the spooky kitchen. We are going to be making our first spooky beverage. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. First of all, if you're new here, Welcome to the Spooky family. We're excited to have you. So you know I couldn't do a spooky beverage video without including our favorite spooky beverage, which is the, the Mountain Dew Baja Blast. And you know I'm all excited about this right now. First of all, it took me 3,000 years to find freaking Baja Blast and any of the stores around here. I don't know what's going on with the Baja Blast shortage, but I, I, I wasn't ready for it. So I finally found... I only found the ones in the plastic bottles, but that's okay. Beggars can't be choosers. I mean, this isn't the official Spooky Family Summerween beverage, but also it's the official, no, just kidding. It's basically the unofficial Summerween beverage for us here in the Spooky Family. I know we didn't invent this, we didn't find it. It's been around forever, but for whatever reason, it's become the Spooky Family beverage. There's just something about it that is so refreshing for the summertime. You're out Halloween decor hunting in 500 degree weather and you get an ice cold Baja Blast. There's nothing quite like it. It just clears the sinuses, makes your soul tingle. A whole sensory experience, basically. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna be using the Mountain Dew Baja Blast in this beverage today. And my beverage I'm gonna be making is an adult beverage, but as I'm making this beverage, I'm gonna throw in some substitutes. If you're wanting to make this a non-adult beverage, I'll also mention some substitutes if you're sugar-free. So if you can't have sugar, then I will throw those out as we're making our cocktail as well. I am just with all the hands today. I'm a little nervous because I've never made this before in my whole life. And I don't know if it's even gonna be good. <laughs> we're gonna put that out there. Might be absolutely terrible and that's okay too, right Means. We're gonna start with a glass. We have a spooky glass. I got this from Home Goods last year while I was out Halloween decor hunting, and it's got a little skull and crossbones on it. I thought this was appropriate for the event. So we're gonna do this. Oh, I meant to turn on my other camera so we could get another visual, we'll get another angle so you can see up close and personal. Oh, I didn't even tell you what the beverage is. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 okay. Sorry, this is a new series we're starting just today. Just decided we're doing this. Uh, so the beverage we're making today, I'm just kidding. Didn't mean to get that excited. So today's beverage, since it is summerween, it is hot out and I just want a nice refreshing tropical beverage. So we're doing a little bit of a tropical Baja Blast kind of situation with this beverage today. So I'm calling this one. But you can't guess. We're calling this beverage the Buhama Mama. <laughs> Which, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, that's okay too. So last year when I was out Halloween decor hunting with Voltaire, uh, Voltaire had never tried a Baja Blast before. He kept calling it the Bahama Mama, is what he kept calling it. Let's get it, Baja, Bahama Mama, okay. Anyway. <laughs> so we're calling this the Buhama mama <laughs> all right so we have our glass and we're gonna start with ice of course it needs to be a frosty beverage we're gonna get some ice i couldn't just go with any regular ice i had to go with witchy hats naturally <laughs> so i have these witchy hat ice cubes that we're gonna put in this glass and we're gonna hope we don't break it we're hoping this just pops right out let me let's see how this turned out i've never done this before with the ice cubes Okay, first of all, look how cute these ice cubes are. Little witch hats. Okay, we're gonna put the witch hats in to the glass. I will link these little spooky trays. You can, they're just silicone molds, so you can do anything from chocolates or 
little brownie bites or peanut butter cups or ice cubes or whatever you want to do. So I'll link them in the description box. So I'm going to be using coconut vodka as my spirit. Get it? Spooky beverage, spirits. <laughs> Anyways, you can use your spirit of choice if you want to use coconut rum or tequila or whatever you want to use for this tropical beverage. Whatever you like, I think will work. But I'm going to use coconut vodka because coconut rum and I, I have a, a bad history with coconut rum. I feel like when, when anything comes up out of your nose at any point in time with whatever food or beverage <laughs> that happens with, I feel like that relationship is over forever. <laughs> Can't do it with coconut rum. So we're going with the coconut vodka. Um, so this is kind of a large shot, I feel like. A shot-ish. So we're just gonna pour the whole thing in there. Okay, not the whole thing. So for the coconut, if you are making this uh, a mocktail or you know non-alcoholic, you can use a coconut simple syrup if you wanna do that. Or you could use a pina colada mix that doesn't already have alcohol in it. Um, you can also use coconut liqueur if you're wanting sugar-free or a sugar-free uh, coconut syrup. I'll find some and link them in the description box for you. All right, so next we're gonna take our Mountain Dew Baja Blast. I'm, <laughs> we're clearly not measuring anything at all. So, oh God, not the upper body strength. Um, so we're, I don't really know how big of a beverage we want this to be. I don't know that I'm gonna fill up this entire glass. We didn't really plan this per usual, but we're just, we haven't tried it. We don't really know what we're doing at all, but I'm just gonna pour this in. That sounds beautiful. I feel like that's good, right? I don't need to use this whole bottle, do you think? A little more? So I used like half of this. And it's 16 ounces, so I used, what's math? Around eight ounces. So we're getting swampier around here. On top of that, we're gonna add some pineapple juice, just a little bit on top. I have this can here of Dole 100% pineapple juice. I'm just gonna open this can up and I'm gonna pour it over the top and we'll see if it does anything cool. Wait, do I need to shake this? Hopefully it's not too late. <laughs> and we're gonna pour this in to the beverage. Oh, it's not doing anything cool. It's just looking more like acid, which is even better. Oh, by the way, for the Mountain Dew, if you're sugar-free, um, they have the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero. That exists. So you can find that if you're sugar-free. Now, I'm gonna put some, first I'm gonna stir it with my little, with my little spider stirrer. I got this from Target. I'm using all my fancy goodies that I bought over the years that I've never used. So we're gonna stir this up. Our ice is melting, perfect. Um. I haven't tasted it yet. We're not gonna taste it yet. I thought about putting a little bit of lime in it. Do you think lime would be weird? Probably. But you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna add it anyways. I've got this key lime situation. I'm just gonna cut it right here. We're just gonna put, these are kind of, let me tell you about these key limes. I had them for like a day and they already look shriveled up and dried up. <laughs> But we're gonna try anyways. And key limes are the best in drinks, in my opinion. My grandma makes homemade limeade with those limes, <sighs> with her own simple syrup that she makes and everything. It is so delicious. Man, it's good. Okay, I need to get that recipe probably. Okay, then we're gonna cut a lime for decoration. So I'm gonna put the lime on the edge. Oh man, that doesn't look pretty at all because this is just a little baby key lime. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's gonna taste good. That's the whole point of the spooky kitchen. We try to make it a little spooky. I feel like we need to have some, we need to put something in this to make it spookier. I mean, it looks like actual. Maybe if I put this little spider stirrer in there. Like I have this straw, this orange and black striped straw that could work. If you want to put a little umbrella, if you have a little spooky umbrella for your drink. Or if you want to kebab some fruit with some toothpicks, pineapple, or I don't know, you can get creative with it. I don't know. I thought about adding some candy eyeballs to the top. Why not? This is the stickiest situation. I've spilled everything. I think the float. Look at that. Oh no, they sunk. Well, that's even better. You can see them all down at the bottom swirling around down there. Oh no, my lime fell off. 
So I don't know if this was a successful situation at all, but we've got our little eyeballs floating around at the bottom. This is the final <laughs> beverage. Here we go, right here. <laughs> I don't know if this looks appetizing. I think the, oh no, the eyeballs at the bottom. There's like brown that's coming up. It's like bleeding eyeballs that are coming up from the bottom, which is kind of even better. Should we try this? Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Okay, it's definitely a tropical, refreshing situation. It could use even more lime. I feel like you can put a lot of lime in there. Just kind of throw them in there. Floating around. Why not? This is the ugliest drink I've ever seen. You might as well make it even uglier. It's like um, a Baja Blast Tropical Limeade. Mmm. Those key limes. Mmm. Yum. Getting more and more disgusting by the minute and I'm all excited now. It's like turning brown. It tastes absolutely delicious. If you're not really wanting that, then you can of course leave out the eyeballs and it'll be nice and crystal clear and look more like battery acid. But now we're getting into a dirty lake water situation. <laughs> it looks absolutely disgusting, but it is so delicious. I feel like this video went by too quick. Oh, I forgot my cocktail napkins. I bought some cocktail napkins at Home Goods last year and never used them. And I don't even know what you use them for like this. So your hands probably don't get all sticky like mine are. And look how cute this is though. I just had to add to the spooky aesthetic. Add a little something Halloween-y to the Bahama Mama. I um, mean, now it's looking more like the Lake of the Ozarks rather than the Bahamas, but what can you do? Anyways, if you try the Bahama Mama with or without the eyeballs, if you wanna post some pictures over on the Facebook group, or tag me on Instagram, or just let me know down in the comments what you thought, if you thought it was refreshing. I'll put the recipe down in the description box for you, as well as all the ingredients and anything I would swap out as well. And that's pretty much it. This was a super quick video. I actually planned on doing two drinks in this video, and I am gonna do the second drink. I actually had this really weird idea to mix, <laughs> to mix Baja Blast and pickle juice to make a cocktail and we're gonna see how it pans out is what we're gonna do so um, I'm still gonna do that video but I'm gonna be doing it for members only so if you're a spooky family member here on YouTube then you'll be able to see the dill pickle Baja blast situation and see if my weird concoction in my mind translated at all or if it's absolutely disgusting uh, but if you haven't heard of the spooky family membership here on youtube uh, youtube basically has memberships now that are kind of like patreon if you're familiar with patreon so it kind of has different tiers and you get different things with different tiers uh, to check it out i'll have a link in the description box it'll say become a spooky family member here and i'll have a link or you can click the join button, which is by the subscribe button, and it'll show you the tiers and what you get. But basically, I draw up some spooky emojis for you guys. So down in the comments, you can use special spooky emojis. So if you see people using little Brides of Frankenstein and Headless Horsemen down in the comments, that's because they are a member. Uh, you also get a spooky badge next to your name when you comment. So you get additional content. You also get first access to any spooky merch that's coming out. Uh, anything from HO7S that's coming out so you can get the early release so you can make sure you get yours before they sell out and all that kind of stuff. So all that's included. So I'll just, you can click the, if you click the join button, it'll show you the tiers before you even join, but um, you can see if it's something that interests you. I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I just want to put that out there in case you didn't know about it. Anyways, if you're in the Spooky Family membership, keep your eyes peeled for the uh, I don't know what I'm calling it yet. The Baja Blast meets Dill Pickle cocktail. Anyways, hope you enjoyed our very first spooky beverage video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue to do these separately as spooky beverage videos or if they're going to be included into just the spooky kitchen in general and we'll do a meal and a beverage. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. What would you like to see? Would you like to see shorter spooky beverage videos? Just 
to where I can get more content out or would you like to see it all as part of spooky kitchen with a meal and a beverage let me know down in the comments I'm pretty open since this is such a new little concept but I'm all excited because I love beverages and this is looking more disgusting by the second which I'm loving so anyway Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, once again, let me know down in the comments if you end up making the boo-hama mama. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do for the intro or outro of this video because this just looks like <laughs> swamp water. <laughs> okay, now we're just getting weird, so we're going to get off of here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.